I want to thank you all for the many votes that came in today for the first uh, What Should Dark Cook on His Big Green Egg. Thank you very much. Uh, it was a three-way tie. We had ribs, we had chicken, and we had salmon. And salmon won by default because it was pouring rain and I didn't feel like spending three hours cooking ribs. Chicken I had just done the other night. And the kicker was that we had a great recipe sent in for salmon. So that's what we'll be doing here today. So to get started, we have all of our ingredients laid out here, thanks to my wonderful wife. And uh, we'll get started right away here with a quarter cup of uh, lemon juice. And then we're going to go in and put a quarter cup of <clears throat> soy sauce. There we go. And next it's going to be a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar. This is balsamic vinegar, not regular vinegar. The shaking it really help. There we go. And the last thing we need to put in is uh, some soy sauce for our liquids. You already did. I did? <laughs> you did. Well, what have I put in? <laughs> Moving on uh, to the olive oil. All right. Well, I will put the <laughs> olive oil in. Thank you. This is the reason why I'm not allowed in my wife's kitchen. No, this is not my kitchen yet. All right. There we go. Olive oil, and we just need a little bit of salt, not a lot of salt. A little bit of uh, fresh ginger that we put together here earlier. Something like that, and a little bit more. And a little, we're going to go in order so we don't mix things up here. A little bit of paprika. There's the paprika and uh, some black pepper. You could put uh, the hot peppers in uh, the season. <clears throat> A little bit of garlic here. All right, we got that in there. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Did you wash those fingers? I did. It's not that. It's the green onion. I forgot the green onion at the store today. <laughs> I told him to get it, but he missed it. So, unfortunately, there we go. And uh, did we get the sesame oil already in? Uh, no, I don't think so. All right. Let's uh, crack this open. <laughs> and uh, we'll get on with that. Uh, at least he's headed to the right drawer, folks. <laughs> here we go. Oh, let's do this cream scoop. There we go. And How much start? Whoa. Quarter cup. Yeah. That looks like halves. No, it's a quarter. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's actually a teaspoon. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're right. It was one teaspoon. Um, oh well. Grease this up really good there, and uh, we'll cut. Oh, we've already put the olive oil in, so. Uh, can't do much about oh, that. God. And, uh, oh, God. A little bit of uh, brown sugar to go in there with the oil. Oh. And, uh, <clears throat> so all that's left now is to uh, put this over the uh, the fish which we prepared earlier. And if Dart can do it, anyone can. That's right. All right. So we'll just let that sit there for a little bit. Uh, next, we're going to go out into the garage and we're going to prepare some alder for uh, smoking the fish on. Alder is the best wood for uh, doing that. So we'll just slip this into the fridge and uh, we'll see you in the garage in just a few minutes. Start. All right, so what we're doing here is we're just getting some alder chips ready to uh, do up on the salmon. Alder is by far the best uh, wood for fish. We could just go to Canadian Tire and get uh, chips. However, we like the freshest of fresh, so this is a stick of wood that was just cut. You can see the barks on it. We're just working on getting the bark off. I mean, working on getting the bark off. We don't want any of the bark uh, flavor. So uh, 
come on back in a few minutes uh, when we're down to the bare wood and uh, we'll work that process for a bit. So we got some uh, good chunks here now that would are clear of bark so we can start chipping those off and we'll have some nice uh, fresh alder wood chips uh, for cooking our salmon with. Cooking it with? What are you going to do with those? We're going to put them in on top of the hard, hot charcoals of the uh, hot egg and they'll begin to smoke and smolder and uh, add an extra texture of flavor to an extra the, uh, layer a of flair? extra layer and texture to the salmon. Mmm, texture. <laughs> so can anyone duplicate this at home, Dart? Are you over the age of 18 and won't hold me legal? Then absolutely. Otherwise, keep the axe away from the children. Go. There, that only took a half hour, so we still have another hour and a half left for uh, the fish to uh, soak there in the brine. Marinate. Marinate in the brine. And uh, that's going to be just enough time for me to go out in the pouring rain and uh, deliver Sydney's papers so she can get to Disneyland. You too, uh, let's not use the axe, you too can help Sydney get to Disneyland by going to www.sydneycircus.com. Welcome back and we're just about to throw some uh, wonderful salmon on here. You can see it's uh, the green egg is smoking very nicely right now as we have got our alder uh, wood chips in there. And uh, we're just going to open up the lid here carefully. And oh, we see we got some nice mushrooms in here already cooking away. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and put on the salmon. You can see it's been marinating there very nicely. And uh, we'll just go ahead and load up the green egg here. Definitely not to burn ourselves. There we go. We'll start the timer and lower the lid. Well, it looks like the rain is coming back here again. But there's our buzzer. Ah, look at that. Looking good. Flip over here. That's all flaking apart. Very nice. Oh, just about lost that one. There we go. We grab the mushrooms off of here now. One thing about cooking on a big green egg, it sure masks the uh, cigar smells at the end of the night. It requires you to have a shower for sure. You can throw a little bit of green beef uh, bok choy on here now. And uh, we'll throw our timer on here for about four minutes. go. And dinner is served. Ta-da! There you go. Excellent.